is a creature standing in an antimagic field subject to the effects produced by control weather. Say, for example, that a person is standing in an antimagic field when a nearby disgruntled druid decides to create a five-mile radius freezing hailstorm via control weather. Would that person be subject to the effects of the hailstorm? More specifically, what happens to the hailstones that enter the antimagic field? What localized weather effects does the person experience? Is the weather within the antimagic field somehow the hypothetical weather conditions that would have existed if control weather hadn't been cast? Is the person subject to the effects of extreme cold like the rest of the people within the hailstorm? Hailstones will enter the antimagic field. Let's look at the relevant text of both spells. First, control weather. Emphasis added. You. Take control of the weather. Within five miles of you for the duration. When you cast the spell, you. Change the current weather conditions. Which are determined by the DM based on the climate and season. You can. Change precipitation, temperature, and wind. Dot dot dot. When the spell ends. The weather gradually returns to normal. The magical effect is that you have control over the weather. You aren't creating magical precipitation, temperature, and wind, just altering the current weather. And now the relevant parts of anti-magic field. Within the sphere, spells can't be cast. Spells and other magical effects, except those created by an artifact or a deity, are suppressed in the sphere and can't protrude into it. We're not casting control weather within the field, so we're in the clear. But wait, spells can't protrude into the field. How does that apply to control weather? Changing temperature inside the sphere would certainly count as part of the spell, so that's prevented. However, the sphere doesn't stop gravity, so precipitation that begins falling above the sphere will fall as normal weather doesn't enter the field. 